3D printing was supposed to revolutionize the construction industry, but it didn't. And on the moon, the stakes are way higher. Most lunar habitat proposals rely on using the moon's natural materials, and 3D printing is the most common approach. In this one, inflatable modules are shipped from Earth, and they become the pressurized living zones. Then a robotic 3D printer builds the protective shell on top using lunar regolith. The structure's inspired by bird bones, so it's strong, but it's also lightweight. And because less material is shipped from Earth, it's pretty cost-effective, and it still offers solid protection. But I remember when 3D printing came out like more than a decade ago here on Earth, and it was supposed to transform the construction industry. But it didn't, and partly because job sites are chaotic and unpredictable, and Earth is way more stable than the moon. Apparently, printing one of these structures will take roughly three months. Testing's been done indoors, in controlled environments. But outside, they have extreme temperature swings that can crack the shell. The vacuum environment makes the curing process very unpredictable. And the quality of the regolith, it really varies from site to site. And the whole process, it eats up a lot of energy. So if every unit needs its own printed shell, that could be a challenge. Full video right here.